The fairy tale continues for newcomers Northland. A shaky start to the season, they're setting themselves up as championship contenders. While in the Premiership, the Canterbury Machine make it six out of six wins in the regular season. Can anything stop the red and black juggernaut as we head into the playoffs? And we head to the Bay of Plenty and meet a player with more on her mind than just rugby football. Everyone's going to have dark days. It's going to be OK one day and you can learn from it, you can grow from it and you can encourage from it. be tough to stop from here. Tom Moley almost wanted to reach out half a metre short, tucked in the back for the Wellington Pride. Well, it's commendable defence so far by the Cyclones and again they repel Wellington. A Fouillet, Rash, short ball for Letty Ying and not stopping Aisha Letty Ying from there. Too powerful, spins out of the tackle, pressure tells and Wellington score from the kickoff. Chance to attack from the line out here, but it's just tipped away. Touched. Oh, yeah, tries to hack it away downfield, but it was touched in flight. So more ball for Manawatu and Balsili again with Mays trying to get her speedsters into it. Dallin just skips through one, looking to link up with Vaughan, still going, finds Vaughan, and Jenna Vaughan crashes over. Turnover's good. It's First again win. Messi and more turnover ball here. Belsily comes charging forward. Wanted the ball from Winniata. Now it's going to back her pace to get around the outside. Pops a brilliant ball in support. What a wonderful breakout try. Salika Winniata eyes up her opposition. Draws her in. Another great run by Belsily. Big fend. And sets up Sturmy for a great try in the corner. Well done, one or two. And now Rash has kicked charge and Mays is going to sit up perfectly for her. Amanda Rash taking her time and Crystal Mays just applying pressure. Well done. Leave it now, Black, leave it now. A slower ball this time for Manawatu, Winniata. Inside ball for Vaughan on the angle, Vaughan slipping through tackles and this time Winniata holds on. They've pressed and they've pressed Manawatu and they've broken through again. This is better ball for Wellington, and we've seen them be able to drive and get this line up, drive going. Stoker's got it tucked in the back. It's there now for the halfback up for yet. Ball in on the angle is a good ball for Robinson, and there's Letty Inga. They're never going to stop Aisha Letty Inga with that head of steam up. Wellington strike first after half time. Rash. Robertson, Robertson gets through the first tackle, brought down just a couple of metres out from the Manawatu line. Rash again looking for the ball and field, still goes herself. Letty Yinger, Letty Yinger's there. And Letty Yinger gets a hat trick. Are they going to give it? In fact, they will. Shove comes on as it spins away. A four year clears. And there's the short ball for Robertson crashing through. Just too much power in the Wellington back line. And Bernadette Robertson, she's been heavily involved, squares it up for Wellington. Great work again by the Wellington scrum, really promoting that left-hand side. Front foot ball for Amanda Rash. Straight running, straight through to set up that try. Brown. Massive hits coming late. Is it on Winniata? Just wanting to check. Oh, yeah, that. There's direct contact with force to her head and neck region, so it's a red card. Here's Lock. And now Rash stands a little kick through for Letty Yinger. Here's a test of the ankle. The ankle's fine. Aisha Letty Yinger is fine, and it's four tries for the Wellington winger. It's one short in the scrum, but they still managed to maintain position. Here's Heslop, and it's a wonderful ball from Marquesi. She's got plenty of pace, and she's got Letty Yinger. Are you kidding me, Aisha Letty Yinger? Stay 
evil scrum. Here's Lop again. And on the wing, as she has been all night, showing her pace. 26 points to seven. Down at half time, Wellington 42, Manawatu 26. In Pukekohe, south of Auckland, counties Manukau have been proactive in supporting various causes. And as October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, both sides took to Navigation Home Stadium, sporting pink socks and pink ribbons. But that was where the camaraderie stopped, as counties weren't letting Waikato off any mistakes. That opened the door for the first try, finished off by Waikahika Flesher. Kauri's defence was a little too exuberant and pinged for being offside. It allowed Waikato to score and then take the lead with a successful conversion. <laughs> Counties regained the lead with two more tries in the first half, the second of which, just before the break, would be the try of the match. While the home side consolidated their lead early in the second half, a line-out mistake allowed the visitors to stay in touch. The decision to take it round behind the posts for an easy conversion reduced the gap to just six points. A well-placed kick by Hazel Tubik, finished off by Lana Lungi via Inu, put the margin to more than seven. But it was a tenacious Waikato side that had come to Pukekohe. They kept on nipping at their heels and reduced the margin back to six points. So not taking any chances, Wai Marino Tohinu sealed the margin and the match with a penalty for the final score, 28-19. A fitting way for her to celebrate her 50th match for counties. My name's Anahira Mohi, um, I'm from Pukehina. Um, I'm born and bred in Tapuki. At the moment, I live in my stepmom's shed with a bit of installation and some paint. <laughs> I have been playing for the Volcanics since their rebirth, which I think is six years ago. Three years ago, I was probably at the lowest, at my darkest point. Um, I was in a really abusive relationship. Um, Mentally, physically, um, you know, it really, really tore me down. I put on a lot of weight. My partner at the time also, she wouldn't let me um, train or be around the rugby scene, so I had to give up my passion for rugby. I was at the point where I didn't want to live anymore, like I didn't want to wake up. Um, I pushed my friends and family, like, away. When I looked at Anna, it was um, more about reading what kind of space she was in. So just from her face, I could already tell, oh, something was wrong. Um, so I just asked her, oh, hey, are you okay? And it was at that moment that she pretty much said, oh, that she wasn't. At that time, I was just in a really positive place. So I didn't want anybody in my environment kind of thinking like that. And I was like, oh, well, um, what is it that you want to do? And she said that she's seen how our team was grow had grown that year. Um, that was 2017. And that she wanted to be a part of it. I had never really properly met Tana. She said to me, Sissy, why aren't you playing rugby? I opened myself up and just told her, you know, I'm in a, I'm struggling, like, told her a bit about what was going on, and she took the hoodie off her back. It was a Volcanics hoodie, um, and she said to me, oh, well, here you go, Sissy, um, this one's for you. You'll be back next year. 
I didn't know that she was in that space. So that's the thing, like you have these conversations with people and you don't even know that that's what's actually going on in their lives. You just assume that everything's all good. But when you actually take the time out to get to know someone, like she was a complete stranger, like I had known her, had high fives with her after a game, but nothing more than that. If I could do that for one person, if I could do that for 10 people, like that's what life is about, like living and following your journey with other people. I knew right then and there it was going to be a hard, hard journey and I had to accept that from that changing point, that this is going to be hard, that these scars are going to hurt, but I have to do this. Volcanics is a big part of my life. We train four times a week, then we've got game day, and then somehow on our days off, we seem to be hanging out with each other. <laughs> oh, she got plenty of energy. She brings lots of laughter and uh, Lots of love for all the other girls. She, she's one of those sorts of people that uh, everyone enjoys being around, and I'm sure she gets a lot out of being around the other girls and uh, they feed off each other. To me, sisterhood is that we never face anything alone. Um, we've got a band of, a tribe of sisters, um, if something's going on, to be there for you. Everyone's going to have dark days. But yeah, it's going to be okay one day, and you can learn from it, you can grow from it, and you can encourage from it. Well, Canterbury at home here at Orange Theory Stadium, and they are semi-final bound. But in today's last round robin match, they will be very keen to keep the momentum and their unbeaten season on track. Georgia Ponsonby taking the ball to ground and barking the orders at the back of the scrum. Who else but Kendra Coxedge? Now they rumble forward towards the line. Do Canterbury an early assault on the Bay of Plenty try line. Just minutes back, into it, just back. a minute and a bit. Coxedge goes to south, get down. So easy for the little talismanic halfback. Nellis picks it up and gives it to Alana Bremner, who's sprinting towards the try line. Try time. Alana Bremner, the younger sister of Chelsea, is on the score sheet, and it is Canterbury's second try. And it's good scrum from Bayer Plenty as well. A great Backwards scrum from Bayer Plenty. Where's the ball? Here, go for try. Try time, try, Bayer Plenty. Try. Wow, from a Canterbury put in at scrum time. And they should be congratulating themselves. Kelsey will see the put in there and then the big surge and push from Bayer Plenty going right over the top. Someone picks up the ball. Can't quite pick who that is and over for the try. Who is that? I think that's to Neil Fitzgerald. And here they go over the line. Can they get it down? It's being held up, is it? Excellent defense from Bayer Plenty. Now, Coxedge gets it wide. Fox trying to go herself and gets it over. Looked as though she was going to pass no, off fine, huh? in the middle. Saw a little gap, went herself. We see here, bit of a dummy pass here. Ran around the outside, another dummy. Dots down. Great work by Kendra Coxedge, directing traffic leading up to this point. Nice little dummy over the line. There she goes. Yeah, through the hands of the talented Bayer Plenty backline, but Anderson's there. Has she stolen the ball away? And she will waltz to the try line. Oh, caught without the supply, other players there, Bayer Plenty. Oh, Anderson's just fantastic work here. We see Leopiela, Tui Leopiela taking it up, but just too upright in this Canterbury side, too strong. And Anderson just pickpocket. There it is, right there. Managed to control that extremely well as well, and nothing's going to stop her that close. <laughs> Alana Bremner trying to wrestle the ball away, does so. Jenkins picks up and fires to Sam Curtis. So it's a chase. Look at Curtis running. Curtis has got the legs. She's going to get there first, Sam Curtis. Try time. What a try. What fast legs, Sam Curtis. This time, Greenslade goes herself. The loose head prop. Coxedge keeps it alive. High ball, and it's Fox again, who goes over for her second, the Canterbury skipper. And a big rumble through. 
Oh, was that try time? Time's off. So we see this is this is a scrum won by Canterbury, but Bay of Plenty just no, keep scrum. on driving over. The ball's loose on the ground. Yule's got it there. She's dived on it. That is, it's no try. The Bay of Plenty player was on the ground when um, placing the ball over the line, so it's a penalty off her feet. That is it. Round robin, Farah Palmer Cup 2019, done and dusted to both these teams, but it is Canterbury who keep their unbeaten run going. They have taken the game against Bay of Plenty 40 to 7. Kia ora and welcome to the final weekend of the regular season for the Farah Palmer Cup. Northland are third and will play sixth place Taranaki for the right to play Otago next week in the championship semi final. 27 year old Blackfern. Victoria Zabritsky Nafatali gets us underway. First possession to the visitors and pass has just gone right across some picks it up and now Fowler gets another short ball and looks like they've walked right over the top of it. Northland have done a great job in getting possession. Zabritsky Nafatali looks up and then the crossfield kick. Looking for the pace. Taranaki. Managed to get players back in time just to save the situation. Now Hohaya clears it. Quick release from Parkinson to the left-hand side of the field. It's still not out. Eventually they do find touch. Webb clears it out to Fulton. Around the bootlaces is Karaloos. She's been good. The open side flanker for Taranaki and now Nice running ball from Weta Kohu, the pick and go from Nata Aringa. Mata, she's over! Another try for 2019! Her 31st in the Farah Palmer Cup, you're kidding me! Murray Shields, Sabritsky Nafatali gives the ball to Weta Kohu. She takes it to the line, throws the first dummy and then the second. 12 metres short. A pick and go. True. Zabritsky Navatali. Webb is there. Webb is always there. Now the offload to Murray. She gives a nice short ball to Nata. Adding a mata. They go too short here, in Northland. They'll pick and go again here, in Northland. <laughs> Referee says try. Captain Crystal Murray just holding off the defensive, just giving the pl player a ball at pace, and which means quick ruck there for Nata Ringamate to score. Some right running ball, quick hands, stepping and now looking to try and find some space. Here she is, the top try scorer prior to the start. Shot! Can't get, get it down. Get it. Rodman went so close. And now the referee says, what, is that a try? Yeah, great work from Mia Anderson here. Another youngster still in high school, playing very well. Had outstanding season for the Kai Kohe Club and deserves her spot in this team. Got ever close and to good another well. Her eyes lit up, three tries, a hat trick. Our top try scorer for the province. Well done, Takura. They've got an advantage here. They've got numbers as well. No advantage offside, you They'll guys. They'll tap and go here, and they do. Ohio has been terrific. Ohio, that's a wonderful try. Individual brilliance. Well, she had no right to score that. She had two defenders there offside, though, so they're lucky not to get a card because that's cynical, the Northland players. Webb clears it. Zabritsky, Nafatali, dummies. Nafatali gets over for the fourth. The step off the left, we've seen it a million times. And then just the class to get across. Advantage. And they've got an advantage with the penalty. Zwart just runs across the field and waits for the whistle. Eventually it arrives. So it's in the red zone, and you're taking away their opportunity. Yeah, they did that so that's a yellow. You've done it twice down here. Murray, she's getting into the kicking roll. Bounce 
is unkind, but now is a chance. Fowler, she's quick, Fowler, Fowler, Fowler. Just gotta go all the way. Chelsea Fowler brings Tadanaki back. Northland trying to get that go for it, scooped up, and she just took that open side and just gassed it. That's, she's been strong all game, and that's congratulations there. Happy days. Back to the left they go. There's the captain. Hinata Aringamate. To the left, Sabritsky Nafatai. There she is. Weta Kohu almost got through. That was a nice tackle by Fowler. Picked up and went again. Now they hit and release. Turn, spin. Give me four for the day. And there she is. Supporting her teammate. Keeping low. Acting like a forward. Lovely hit and spin. Just finding that space over the line. Comprehensive and a good victory for the home side. Northland have beaten Taranaki 32-14. So here's how they finished up. Northland into third place behind the Otago Spirit and Hawke's Bay with the Tasman Marco rounding out the top four. And into the Premiership, Canterbury lead with a perfect six from six. The Auckland Storm, Wellington Pride and Counties Monaco also into the semis. And where can you watch those matches? In the Premiership, Auckland against Wellington, that's on Saturday. And on Sunday, Canterbury face Counties Monaco. The Championship will bring you highlights of Otago Tasman, and you can watch Hawke's Bay versus Northland live on Sky Sport 3.